We talked yesterday about the potential location of the Saints' week one home game against the Green Bay Packers. They can't play at the Superdome, given what happened with Hurricane Ida. We talked about AT&T Stadium as a possibility. Los Bukis, I was corrected by multiple Los Bukis fans after the show. It's not Bukis, it's Bukis. Los Bukis. Bukis performing three nights later at AT&T Stadium. Apparently, AT&T didn't work. As it turns out, the Saints will be playing the home game against the Packers in Jacksonville. And according to Jeff Duncan in the New Orleans Times-Picayune, the Saints did their research on things including Aaron Rodgers' record in Florida. He's 3-4 and four all time with a 78.1 passer rating. They think the heat and humidity will give them an edge that against the Green sure. Bay Packers. Uh-huh. And, and they could have had any of the Florida venues, Miami, Tampa, or Jacksonville. And they picked Jacksonville because they looked at the flights because they think, hey, Tampa, Miami, destination location for Packers fans, pandemic notwithstanding. Uh, the, the flights are the most expensive to Jacksonville, and it's the toughest itinerary to get to where you want to be from where you want to go. So they're trying to ensure that Packers fans don't show up, don't flock there. I think they need to worry about Buccaneers fans coming over to Jacksonville and rooting against the Saints. <laughs> I'd worry about that if I was the Saints, but they don't have to worry about cheeseheads or at least as many cheeseheads as they would in Miami or Tampa. So it's funny how they looked at every detail, but hey, they're giving up their home field advantage. This Big is time. huge. This is Big great. Time for the Packers right it, it it goes from a well maybe we get lucky and we win the game to this is neutral site yeah neutral site they have to travel we have to travel we can beat them here no no question I mean again we we both know the the Superdome uh which I think they've renamed it right the Caesar Dome or whatever it is down there the uh, Caesars Superdome Caesar Superdome that I mean that's one of the toughest places to play in football it is and it's a huge advantage for the Green Bay Packers they don't have to go down there and deal with you know, the Louisiana fans. I would think, you know, even – I don't know how much farther is it. They can – the Saints fans can drive to Jacksonville. I'm sure that's an aspect. The I, the flight thing is really amazing. The fact that they look at Rodgers' record is pretty damn amazing too. The first thing I did think of, though, was your first point, that, oh, Jacksonville makes sense down there in Florida. Hey, the Saints are used to that heat down there. It, it ain't that hot up there in Wisconsin. It's, that'll be humid and, and tough to deal with. Uh, so it, it is an advantage for the Green Bay Packers, though, a, a big advantage of that. And, and it's not Gainesville. It's Tallahassee. But Jameis Winston coming back to Florida and playing in a game, that's an attraction sure, for the local fans, sure. right? Definitely. So I, I don't know. I, who knows? It'll be interesting to see how many seats are full for that game and how they'll go about doing it. Will it be full price? I doubt it. Will it be some sort of a donation? Who knows? But it's an extra game for Jacksonville involving two teams that aren't the Jaguars. You got the Packers. You got the Saints. You got two playoff teams. Yeah. Two high-caliber teams coming to town. If I lived in Jacksonville, I'd be at the front of the line to go see that game. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm with you there. I mean, yes, it's, it's Saints. I, I would be shocked if they fell off this year. You know, it's still a really good football team, and they're still really good up front. There's no team that's going to push the New Orleans Saints around on either side of the football. And, of course, you know, Jameis Winston is going to bring a little different element to the offense altogether. You know, again, no disrespect to Drew Brees, but, yeah, Jameis can push the ball down the field like we talked about with some of those highlights from that Jaguars uh, preseason game. That's going to change how you have to defend them. Uh, So, yeah, I mean – it, it, it should be a really good one. I feel bad for the Saints. I mean, to, to have your you know first month of your year just thrown like into a major curveball like this, wow, is that a lot to deal with. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.